In this video, we will cover how to create a loft in Home Designer. In this plan, we have a general studio apartment plan created in Home Designer Suite that we're looking to open up to give it a larger feel. We will be able to accomplish this by defining a loft area on the second floor above this living area. To do this, we'll first need to navigate up to the second story of our floor plan in Plan View. First, we need to define our loft space by using railings, which will function as walls. We can find the straight railing tool in the toolbar or within the menu bar under Build, Railing and Deck, then Straight Railing. Be sure to select Straight Railing rather than Straight Deck Railing so that we get proper finished wall edges along the floor platform underneath. These railing walls will provide the room definition that we will need to distinguish our loft area. With our railing selected, we can use the center object tool here in the edit toolbar at the bottom to center our rail in the middle of our structural column. Next, we can also add a couple breaks in our railing using the Add Break tool to get proper newels at the end of our railing sections on either side of our structural column. Lastly, we'll make this middle section invisible. We can add more to our upper floor plan later but for now, let's name our loft area in the room specification. Now that we have our loft area defined, we'll remove the floor platform from the remaining area by utilizing the Open Below room type. To do this, we'll need to open the object specification for the room outside of our loft. Up here, in the Room Type drop-down, we'll select Open Below from the list. Now, let's go back to our camera view to see what we have so far. Looks good! Now let's add some stairs for access to our loft area. For this example, we'll use the L-shaped stair tool. We can find this in the Stair Tools tool palette or by navigating in the menu bar to Build, Stairs, then L-Shape Stair. Since stairs in Home Designer draw from the floor platform going up, we'll need to navigate back down to Floor 1 to place them. Now that Floor 1 is visible, it will be best to use the reference display to be able to see the lines for our second story rails so that we can be sure to make a complete connection to our floor platform. To turn this on, we can click on the reference display button in the toolbar or through the menu bar under tools, floor slash reference display, and then reference display. If you have Home Designer Pro, you'll find this button on the right-hand side toolbar. You may notice as I hover over the area that we'll be placing these stairs in that the upwards direction will depend on the position of the cursor. Once we've got the correct direction and orientation, we can click to place the stairs. Now that the stairs are placed, We'll select our upper section and resize it to connect with our second floor platform. You'll notice, now that I've connected the stairs to the upper floor, the program has automatically created an opening in the railing wall at the top. Next, we'll resize the lower section to decrease the number of treads so that our automatically adjusting landing will have a lower elevation. Lastly, we'll remove the handrails from our walls within the interior staircase specification.
Now that we have defined our loft area, created our open below room, and added access to the loft, our loft is now complete, and we have successfully opened this area with just a few simple steps. Thank you for watching.